Good morning, and I do hope you are well. Today, the Church commemorates St Thomas, and our reading is appropriately from John's Gospel, chapter 20. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands, and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands, reach out your hand, and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. The Aramaic name Thomas and the Greek word Didymus both mean twin. Thomas, often known as Doubting Thomas, is so often used to show that it's all right to have doubts. Indeed, I'd go as far as to say that a questioning faith is more likely to be a lasting faith in the long term than a faith built on accepting everything blindly. This brief passage takes us into the heart of the difference between faith and belief. Thomas was probably a bit put out not to have been around when Jesus appeared to the other disciples. We'll never know whether Thomas was a bit jealous or just sceptical, or quite possibly a mix of both. The other disciples' claim to have seen Jesus must have been difficult for Thomas to accept. He must have wondered, did it really happen? Perhaps Thomas stands for rational people. He needed to see the evidence before he could believe. And then, of course, Thomas appeared to all the disciples when Thomas was present and Jesus invited Thomas to touch him. John doesn't tell us whether Thomas actually did touch the risen Jesus, but the invitation was certainly enough for Thomas to say, My Lord and my God. To which Jesus famously replied, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Those words were written and said very much for everyone that followed, ourselves included. I'll return to my question about the difference between faith and belief. When we recite the creed in church, we start with the words, we believe. Belief is about engaging our brain. The creed is a theological summary of the Christian faith. But faith is about what we take on trust. It's the spark, as it were that breathes life into the bare statements of the creed. It seems to me that Thomas had both. But in the end, his faith was the most important. And now let us pray. First of all, the collect for St Thomas. Almighty and eternal God, who, for the firmer foundation of our faith, allowed your holy apostle Thomas to doubt the resurrection of your Son, till word and sight convinced him. Grant to us, who have not seen, that we also may believe, and so confess Christ as our Lord and our God, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And we continue to pray for peace in Ukraine, using a prayer from Christian aid. We implore you, O merciful God, look with grace upon those who courageously defend their land. Remember the mothers and fathers, the innocent children, widows and orphans, the disabled and helpless, those seeking shelter and refuge, who reach out to you and to their fellow human beings looking for mercy and compassion. Bless the hearts of those who have already shown great generosity and solidarity, 
and those who continue to receive their Ukrainian brothers and sisters in their country's greatest time of need. Bring us together as your children, your creation, and instil in us your strength, wisdom and understanding. May you be praised and glorified, now and for ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And now we bring all our prayers together in the traditional words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Stay safe. Our Monday evening prayers for Ukraine continue tonight at St John the Baptist Church. And remember that Richard Simmons will lead our prayers on Friday.